Welcome to HVAC exam practice test. Our topic today is green awareness. Use the link in the description to download the app on the App Store for free practice tests. Number 1. When in use, which of the following appliances found in most homes use the most kilowatt hour? A. Freezers and refrigerators. B. Food disposal in the television set. C. Electrical water heater in the freezer. D. Electrical water heater in the clothes dryer. The answer is D. Electrical water heater in the clothes dryer. Explanation. The water heater and clothes dryer would have the highest energy consumption as compared to all others. Number 2. How much of all the available water on the planet is freshwater? A. 2.5%. B. 24%. C. 67%. D. 75%. The answer is A. 2.5%. Explanation. Of all the water available on our planet less than 2.5% is freshwater, three quarters of which is frozen or otherwise not attainable. Only 0.3% is available for use in the form of rivers and lakes, most of which are polluted in some way, requiring treatment before drinking. Number 3. How much water do showers use? A. 53% of the water used in a home. B. 41% of the water used in a home. C. 22% of the water used in a home. D. 12% of the water used in a home. The answer is C. 22% of the water used in a home. Explanation. Showers can use as much as 22% of the water used in homes. High-efficiency shower heads use approximately 1.5 to 2.3 gallons of water per minute. Number 4. Water closets or toilets, used in commercial buildings, consume approximately how much water excluding irrigation? A. 16%. B. 21%. C. 50%. D. 90%. The answer is C. 50%. Explanation. Water closets in commercial buildings consume approximately 50% of the water used. Number 5. Approximately how much water does an average dishwasher use that is not energy star qualified? A. 15 gallons of cold water per cycle. B. 12 gallons of hot water per cycle. C. 6 gallons of hot water per cycle. D. 4 gallons of hot water per cycle. The answer is C. 6 gallons of hot water per cycle. Explanation. The average dishwasher uses approximately 6 gallons of hot water as compared to the 4 gallons used by Energy Star qualified models. Number 6. What is true about insulating the water heater and hot water piping? A. It is needed on only part of the hot water piping in order to save energy costs. B. It is done to keep the water from freezing inside and causing pipe breakage, leaks. C. It is only needed in very cold climates, not in the southern parts of the US. D. It is one of the easiest ways to make an immediate impact on energy savings. The answer is D. It is one of the easiest ways to make an immediate impact on energy savings. Explanation. One of the easiest ways to make an immediate impact on energy saving is to insulate an efficient water heater or replace an inefficient water heater. Insulating the hot water piping will also improve energy savings. There are many other gases in the atmosphere. Number 7. What is true about the on-demand water circulation system? A. It does not use a pump and thus saves money and energy. B. It allows cold water to run for about one minute before the hot water arrives. C. It delivers hot water immediately without the cold water waste period. D. It is not used in residential constructions, only in some commercial applications.
The answer is C. It delivers hot water immediately without the cold water waste period. Explanation. On-demand water circulation systems will deliver hot water immediately without cold water waste. Number 8. What testing method is used to check a building for air leakage? A. Blower door test. B. Infrared camera test. C. Air static pressure test. D. A visual check for caulking. The answer is A. Blower door test. Explanation. The blower door test uses a fan to increase or decrease the building pressure to a set point and measuring the cubic feet of air to achieve the required pressure. Number 9. What testing method is used to check air conditioning and heating ducts for air leakage? A. Blower door test. B. Infrared camera test. C. Air static pressure test. D. Duct pressure test. The answer is D. Duct pressure test. Explanation. The duct pressure test uses a fan to increase or decrease the air pressure to a set point and measuring the cubic feet of air to achieve the required pressure. Number 10. What is used to check how well a building retains the conditioned air from heating or cooling? A. Blower door test. B. Infrared camera test. C. Air static pressure test. D. Duct pressure test. The answer is B. Infrared camera test. Explanation. An infrared camera indicates temperature ranges in different colors. Warm areas of a building are indicated by shades of red and cool areas by shades of blue. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for updated videos every week.